We're here at the 2017 Chicago Auto Show, and behind me is the 2018 Dodge Durango SRT. And what's unique about this car is that while most manufacturers are building their SUVs to be more fuel efficient and uh, eco-friendly uh, with hybrids and whatnot, this one's not. In fact, it's got a gigantic V8 that puts out 475 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. The fascias are different. The front fascia and the rear fascia are a lot more aggressive. Uh, bigger wheels, 20-inch wheels, and most importantly, bigger brakes. What's particularly cool about this is because it's an SRT, Dodge has uh, framed it more for the driving enthusiast. Uh, it's got an adjustable all-wheel drive system. Uh, there's seven drive modes that you can select uh, from inside the car, and that adjusts things like how the transmission shifts and how the throttle pedal, how reactive it is, and how, the, how much power goes to the front rear wheels with, through the all-wheel drive system. There's a track mode and even launch control. On the inside, you've got its uh, SRT-specific uh, leather interior with SRT em emblazoned all over the place. Dodge says it can do 0 to 60 in 4.4 seconds, which we think is a pretty ridiculous uh, thing for a three-row six-seater to be able to do. They made sure the car uh, would do the job correctly. Uh, they put a different hood on it that has heat extractor vents, and we think that's kind of like what it's going to sound like, so we're really looking forward to that. Uh, anyway, going back to the hood, uh, there's heat extractors on the side and a cold air intake in the center uh, so that the engine always has a nice, cool air to breathe. Overall, we're super excited that uh, somebody's decided to kind of get into that performance SUV uh, segment. Uh, the more players, the better, we say. Just because it's fun and it's, uh, it's still practical. We're not quite sure when it's going to go on sale, but you can guarantee that when it is, we'll get one to test.